guys, thanks so much for talking to us. Of course. First of all, how nuts is to come from YouTube and now be on top of Billboard? Um, it's a bit of a difference, isn't it? I don't yeah. know. It's, a li it's weird for us to come from like, oh, like the middle of nowhere in Sydney uh -huh. to have like a number one album, you know, in Mexico yeah. and um, America. And, you know. How did you react with that? How do you, I don't know, celebrate the whole thing? I don't know. Well, I, I remember. I, no, I can't really say that. I, uh, you do celebrate. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah it was fun. You know, it was, <laughs> it was awesome. Actually, I know what we We did. were happy. We had, um, we had a bottle of champagne and shook it and then that went so fun. Did, not, it did not drink any of it. <laughs> all yeah, America. right. Cool. And this new album, you have like a particular song that means the most for you guys and was like personal and something uh, like that or no? I don't know. No. The, most, <laughs> the most personal songs are probably on the EPs, to be honest, before. Yeah. But, um, well, why is that? Like, which I, one is I it? I don't know, why? because the ones in the EPs were kind of not, not like right for the album, but they're more, you know, they're more personal songs, I think. Uh -huh. But on but on the album, probably beside you, because we were at that, you know, when, well, I think I was 15 then. And, you know, so were you 16 or 15? Then? I was 16, you were Actually, no, I could have still been 15, but yeah. you were definitely 15. Yeah, I was definitely young. What were like inspiring you both back then to write your songs and nowadays too? That back then it was kind of when the band started doing stuff and we had to fly places and you know weren't in school as much. I don't know, just not having a normal life anymore. So well, it's kind of beside you, sort of about being really far away. But when we wrote it, we'd only ever been away for like a couple of days each. So now when we look back on that song, it just like it makes. Well, you guys just finished the. the one direction to mm -hmm. How was it? It was incredible. I, just before we got off stage, I like took a second and I looked and I was like, this might be the last time I ever see uh -huh. like a stadium like this. So I was like, you know, it's yeah. amazing that they had a, us on that tour. It was like a bit of a sweet moment. Like we were sad that that was ending, but it's also like a, you know, it's like a stepping stone and we can do our own tour. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, very exciting for us. Do you have like a, a one thing you can tell me? Because Guys, when they get together, you do dumb right. and crazy stuff too. Um, it's like a cool thing that you remember and like marked your memory forever. I don't know. It's sort of like you we do dumb crazy stuff every day. Yeah. No, with <laughs> them, like as a group. We, like with one day. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think it was really nice. Like right before, right before we left the, you know, the the show, the last uh -huh. show, we all kind of got together. We did this. Liam pulled, pulled us together in this really big group hug. Which I thought that was pretty cute. Yeah. It was the first time we've ever had a group hug. So it felt nice. It's good. And how is to be on the first three right now? What are you feeling? Like the heart's beating faster? You know, it's more more exciting. What for our own tour? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be incredible booting like a an arena tour. Like for, uh, it's crazy that we you know, the first like one of the it was like the second support tour we did was in arenas and we'll you know, to come back the, I remember going on stage and like, you know, seeing each other on those support shows, like we're going to be back here next year. Like, yeah. Like not knowing if we actually were going to be, so it's, you know, you know, it's awesome. It's incredible. Well, most of the shows are happening next year and are already sold out. Yeah. Like at some point you guys thought about like playing for that many people? Yeah, yeah you know, it's like when you, when you start a band, really, you'd never expect, you know, to like, when we started, we never expected to like get out of Australia. Like I remember the first, the first tour we put on sale, we did a show in, Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane um, uh -huh. in in Australia, and the first the first two shows we'd done, like thirty people came to them, so there was like no <laughs> one. And it's I remember, a, it's, it's a, why is that obsession with superheroes? Superheroes, you guys awesome. always superheroes. <laughs> just if amazing. you have to pick one, what would it be? I know what you're gonna say. I'm gonna be Deadpool. What? Yeah, I'm changing Spider-Man <laughs> to Deadpool. He doesn't like that. I know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Why don't you guys go up here? Spider-Man. <laughs> Come sit on my lap. Yay! We have more people on the stage. This is my uh, friend Ashton. Cool. Okay. A lap dance <laughs> right now. <laughs> Do uh, I look good? I'm gonna leave that. Thanks. Good night. Nice. Love to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah. yeah. You should yeah. say. See you, baby. What do you think about the comparison with like Blink 182 and now McFly? Oh. It's like, is it cool or awesome. at some point it starts being like a pain in the ass? No, it's it's amazing. I think it's cool because we like you know we love bands like that and love what they did with you know guitars and how they made like pop pop yeah. music but with you know rock and funk influences. But, um, yeah. You know that's awesome. Okay. The cool thing about Blink as well, it's like, you know, they made people want to pick up guitars and start playing songs and stuff. And they had like, you know, 
<laughs> type of songs they play is just awesome. Shannon is just making fun. Now. Callan is just <laughs> over there being annoying, as usual. <laughs> Go with is that. it easier to date to get hooked up when you're famous? To be no. honest, not really. No, I think it maybe, <laughs> no? maybe maybe if we actually were famous, it I would felt be. Like when I was when I was 14 in school, I did okay. I did quite well, and then I joined a band, and it was like everyone was sort of like, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, whatever. But everyone thinks band dudes are assholes. Yeah. I, don't, I never can say that. <laughs> wow. I don't know. It's summer in Brazil right now. Okay. So they want me to ask you okay. about like summer vacation. If you have like a, a cool story to tell me, like a crazy thing that you guys did during um, a break from school, and and what's the perfect vacation? I it's gonna sound really Australian and typical, but anywhere any holiday at the beach is fine with me. Mate, any, mate. <laughs> any holiday at the beach is good for me. Uh, I'd like to go home and see my family. Do, do you guys have plans to go to Brazil? Yeah. I really want. Callum's already been to Brazil. <laughs> He's Why actually... don't you come here and represent then, instead of just being behind the camera and <laughs> just I like? Can my <laughs> <laughs> it is. Estou invadindo o palco agora, gente. I've been keeping track of your Instagram. Yes. Do you know how many times you change the color of your hair? Yeah. Throughout. Oh, I, I, I don't know the number. Do you guys keep track of his style or no? Well, I don't know. Well, in this in this backboard here, you can see it's two different colors just there. Oh, so sorry. if you look at just purple here, purple. And we have a. Uh, oh god. It's more of a black over it's there. Someone just drops. I know they're both purple. And we got oh. red here. Do you know how many red times red. you change your? Oh yeah, I have no idea. I'm okay. like I'm guessing high twenties. Yeah, I'd say high twenties. I'm gonna say low twenties. Do you know? Let's get thirty. I do. How many? Twenty one. Really? Oh, uh -huh. Low 20s. Wow. I feel like that's I, not, I count you know, you that's not that actually quite a lot. I feel like I've done it more than that. Well, more than me. I've really, never did anything. That's so impressive. You should die yours. You're beating up a girl. You should die yours. Guys, thank you so much. And thank we you, hope man. to see you in Brazil. Sorry to I just <laughs> wanted to... No! I love it. I just wanted to say something for our fans. <laughs> to all our Brazilian fans, sorry we're not there right now. We'll be there soon. And we'll be back uh, after the break. We'll be back after the break. We love you guys. Bye. Yeah.